Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, read the fine print. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. 1 Peter 4, 12, 13, and 16. Nobody wants to suffer. Everybody wants to live a life of peace and tranquility. I mean, who wouldn't want to wake up every day and be able to go to work, not having any issues, being at home, not having any challenges, coming to church and there are no hurdles? I mean, who in their right mind would not want a life like that? Unfortunately, this life is not so. Many of us were misled when we were about to get saved. Many of us just heard about the golden bells that will be ringing and the joy that will have singing with angels. However, getting saved, we actually sign a spiritual contract. But as with many contracts, many of us just sign without actually reading the information that is there. And sometimes the information that is visible is not as important as the fine print. Because if we read the fine print, we would understand that Jesus said, if we are going to serve him, we have to take up our cross and follow him. Suffering is a part of the life of the child of God. I mean, you're bound to suffer because you're living in a sinful world with a sinful system, but yet you're asked to be different. I mean, if we read through the scriptures, we will understand that there's no one who God has called ever had a life that was a smooth sailing. Even Jesus himself had to suffer. Therefore, Peter puts it like this, think it not strange. In other words, when our friends forsake us, when we are rejected, when we are treated less than who we are, Peter wants to remind us that this is just a part of the life of the child of God. Now, there are many things that none of us wants to be labeled as. Nobody wants to be labeled as a liar, a thief, a murderer, a scammer. But Peter said, if any man suffer, he should suffer as a Christian. Make sure that when the world accuses you, they can only find fault of you because of the fact that you're living for Christ. For every suffering we face, understand this child of God, it's a victory that we've won. For every time you felt to keep malice, but you chose not to, that's a victory you've won. I may be crying now, but my joy is coming. I may be down now, but I'll soon be uplifted. I may be broken now, but I'll soon be mended. I may be sick now, but my healing is on the way. Because I read the fine print, I'm able to say like the song where I've had some good days, I've had some hills to climb, but when I look around and think things over, I can say God has been good to me. I won't complain. The quote of the day, for every trial we overcome, then we are going to be rewarded. As you go today, child of God, go knowing that when you suffer for the name of Jesus, victory is on before. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.